At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out. Simple, isn't it? With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower. What the world does, we undo. My parents have taught me that, you know, no matter what, they'll always be there for me and they'll always support me and that I make my own path. Nobody can do that for me but myself. And looking back, I mean, I think it's a pretty good path. <laughs> This Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand event is proudly brought to you by Tower Insurance. Welcome in for session number two at the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champs on day three, our final day here at Functional Strength HQ on Auckland's North Shore. And we've gone from the pocket rockets at the start of the weekend, progressing through now to the power women, the 87 kilogram and 87 kilo plus finale coming up shortly. We can introduce our athletes for this event. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to present our lifters here at session 10 of the 2019 Olympic Weightlifting National Championship. Welcome to all our here. And our 
to other referees. We'll put a round of applause for four the bowlers. And our other referee, Michelle Willis. Our chief marshal today is Kelsey Chapman. And our technical controller is Jason Benning. Thank you so much guys, we look forward to a great competition. We are just under nine minutes before the start of the snatches. So please hang around, get a good seat, as we wait for these lifters to come out and put on the show. Competition. So we've got combined events here, Amanda Gould joining me in for this one. And it's a diverse field again. We've got 16-year-olds through to 40-year-olds. But you're picking a couple of dark horses, maybe. Yeah, I think we're going to have a full Christchurch sweep of gold in both the 87 and the 87 plus class. We've got Hayley Whiting, who's got a huge amount of experience. Um, her lifting has been looking phenomenal coming into nationals this year. So I know her and her coach Ray will be expecting some big things from Hayley. And then in the 87 plus, we've got a bit of an unknown in Lauren Bruce. Now I know she's only sort of been focused on weightlifting from, I think, August this year. She's a hammer thrower by trade, so she won't be a stranger to a bit of Olympic lifting. Um, but I'm really excited to see what she can do. Yeah. I promise that's not your South Island bias coming through here too. But what we have noticed, and I'm just noticing today, last day of the competition, the noise levels have really ratcheted up as those women were presented out to the crowd. There's a big support crew in. How might that play for some of them? Uh, I think it definitely helps if you can hear that crowd um, supporting you. Helps you get psyched up, especially if you're coming out for some big lifts. And it's the last day. There's going to be some massive tin thrown around. I mean, we've got big boys in the final session, so it's all just ramping up to be an awesome finish what's been an amazing weekend. It's putting some pressure on the big ones because it's very hot today, really, really hot, and we're pretty much in a tin shed here, so that's another factor to be to be considered as well. Well, I heard it was 27 degrees in Dunedin today, so it must be hot. hot here. <laughs> all right, we are getting ready. Under seven minutes now for the women in our two weight categories. We've got five athletes in the 87 kilo class and six in the 87 class. Plus, we can't wait to see how these women are going, chucking some big tin around. We have two types of lifts, or disciplines as we like to call them, the snatch and the clean and go. We have three attempts at both disciplines, and the heaviest lifts in each discipline you combine them and you get a total weight. The person with the heaviest total wins uh, the category. Quite easy, but uh, obviously there's some uh, rules in between all of that and how to lift and making sure elbows lock out and all of that. But well, we won't worry too much about that, we'll let the referees worry about that, and we'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Six minutes now until the start of session 10. And I can hear the weights going up and slamming on the ground back there. This is looking to be a great session.
Big shout out to Christ Church City Weightlifting who is loading this session here. Today it's session 10. Loading fires in it isn't as uh, easy as you guys may think. A uh, bit of pressure at times, so we'll make sure to give them uh, all the support they need when they need it. Just over three minutes now until you begin. Weightlifting is such a great sport. We just ask that as the lifters come to approach the bar that we quiet down and give them the silence that they need to focus and make this lift. Lifts only take a matter of seconds. And, Not far uh, away from a start now in our penultimate session here the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Championships in Auckland's North Shore. We've got the women's 87 kilogram class and the women's 87 plus finals coming up. Five in the first group and six in the second. Big, strong women preparing, and we've talked about his an age range at this stage. Our first athlete out will be 16-year-old Mabel Davies from Upper Hutt. Look at the opening weights that these lifters have put down. As we said, it's very hot in here too, so they're going to have to stay hydrated. Mental game is going to be a big factor in these conditions too. Good crowd has come in and getting towards the end of the day. As I said, this is the second to last session. We've got the big boys coming later, the 102, 109 and 109 plus categories to come from 230 and that will feature the Commonwealth Games gold medalist David Leete. But for now, it's all about these ladies and their coaching and support teams. There's Mabel Davis there. Coach still very proudly wearing the red rose of England despite last night's results where they were monstered by South Africa in the World Cup final. Takes the sting out of it a wee bit for us, I think. Yeah. Makes life feel a little bit better. The box just simply too good today. So, coach is approaching, having a look. This is Mabel Davies, just 16 years of age. Not her first nationals, though, so she has, has experienced these sort of high-pressure situations before. Well, we've seen athletes today really come out under pressure and deliver, particularly in the previous category. The men's 96 kilogram class was some really impressive stuff. We're talking about pressure too. There's a bit of pressure on one of our uh, judges today as well. Got some scrutiny on him. Yes, so Richie Wong, centre referee for this session, actually has a jury of three of our most experienced and highly qualified referees who are essentially judging the judge. Trying to step up for international competition, so the centre referee has got eyes on him as well as these two athletes have her going through those final motion stretches. This is Hayley Whiting here, who Amanda's picked as hits the favourite in this women's class from Christchurch in the 87. And, and everything being amped up a little bit in the final stages today. I don't know if that's the fatigue setting in for everyone who's been working and coaching and judging and all sorts, but... Uh, Saki from Pat's always good at getting the crowd going. So it is Mabel Davies first up with 55 kilos on the bar, her first attempt at the snatch in the women's 87 kilogram class.
Good opening lift for Mabel. A little bit loose in the bottom, but I'm sure she can tighten that up. It looked like just first lift nerves, and now she's got the first one under the belt. I'm sure her next rep will be nice and tight. Only two juniors in this class. Mabel, 16 years old, and Sarah Youssef, 18-year-old. Junior category up to and including 20 years of age. Sarah, our lightest athlete in the 87, uh, under 87 class. Looks like she could have gone to the 81s, but chose to come up. Yeah, I think she was originally listed in for the 81s on the art sheets from earlier in the week. Here she was. All these women well under at 87. And it looks like she's going going up for more. Be interesting to see if Mabel uh, goes for a C grade total here that would allow her to be eligible for Oceania selection. Uh, the C grade for the under 87 class is 153. Is that a way with these gradings to has younger athletes come through to, 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 to prove that they have, have that ability, I guess in terms of what, a, having the strength, but the technique and all of that, and it's particularly younger bodies coming through the sport or novices in the sport? Yeah, so the grading um, system just gives us a way to put everybody into similar categories. So because there's such varying weight classes and differing weights that are being lifted, it gives us a chance to compare them against each other, even if they sit across, um, at, say, if there's 20 or body weight kilos between them. Uh, Caitlin Papuai is sitting in next to Mabel. Caitlin's in the 87 plus category. She is also a junior, and this is her first nationals. You can see she's looking a little bit nervous. And they are club mates, those two as well, from um, Upper Hutt. So Mabel it is again, who was successful comfortably with the 55 at the start, and now oh, 58. get that bar up forward in front of her. Yeah, it looks like she needs to be a bit tighter in a mid-back, keep her shoulders rotated out. She's just letting them rotate in as she comes under the bar and it's leaving the bar out in front. As it stands, she will have to follow herself so that clock resets to start at two minutes instead. And now she's going up, so the clock will stop. Throw it back to Caitlin Tapuai. It is, like you say, incredibly hot here, so this could be a little bit of strategy from coach to give her an extra breathing time. She's got a total on the board. That's a good start, getting that first one done. First snatch is always the worst. Good to see the big blue plates coming out. Sometimes they can be a bit of a, a bit intimidating if you don't normally put them on in training. You're just happy to stack the tens. So here is Caitlin Tapuai, first attempt for her. Another 16-year-old out of Upper Hutt. 60 kilos opening attempt. Oh, easy. Oh, strong start. Oh, the young lady. That'll shake out any nerves she may have had. Absolutely. It's a nice confident start. A wee smile. Wee smile. She looks like she's relaxing into it now. But that looked pretty routine. Beautiful catch. The ball will remain at 61 kilos, 50 kilos. The ball is now back on Mabel Davies. This will be your final attempt in the snatch. So Mabel Davies is going to be out for her third and final snatch. She 
was successful first time out with 55. Had a no lift at 58, and now 61 on the bar. For Mabel Davies. Tried to push through it. Frustrating. Written on the face. Some of the younger ones show a little bit more emotion on that face sometimes. Looks like she's just cutting her extension a little bit short at the top of the pool, which is leaving the bar out in front of her. Looked a bit sore as she came away from that too. I think that's more the mental <laughs> anguish <laughs> rather than the physical. It is frustrating if you've been working towards the competition and, and training's been going really well and all you want to do is go out there and, and prove, you, prove whether it's to yourself or to your coach. I know it can be incredibly disappointing if it doesn't quite come off. He has got a score on the board though, so we'll be able to progress to the clean and jerk. So now we see Sarah Youssef with 65 kilograms, her first attempt. She's from the Papatsoi Tsui Club. It has gone up in weight class ever so slightly, but the lightest lifter in this group by some distance, 82.7 kilos. Nice tidy start for Sarah, the 18-year-old. And her coach, Simon Kent, High Performance Director of Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand, gives her a pat on the back and a bit of advice. Nice, strong catch in the bottom. Oh, we were impressed with Caitlin Tupperwhite's first snatch, and then she's bumped up five kilos. And she made that 60 look pretty, pretty effortless. Well, she certainly she made it look like it wasn't a weight at all. And another great attempt by Caitlin. Beautiful controlled lift. You can tell when the timing's right because the bar just pops up. And that's what, what hers looks like. Looks like it goes weightless off the hips. She just drops under it, positions herself perfectly under the bar, waits just a moment, and then she powers out of the hole. You almost saw as she walked off. It's almost like those shoulders have lifted again. A little bit nervous that first one, and now two good lifts. And really got into her groove. Still looks nervous. <laughs> Very young. She is be interesting to see where they go here. But she certainly looks like she's capable of at least a 70 in there. So she is on the clock now at the moment. And here we're going to see what she's going to change to up to 67. I think they're just trying to force the next Give lifter her. out. Wind down the clock. But she knows she's not far away. She's not moving from that uh, waiting area. And it looks like Simon's changing Sarah. Simon moves in and then out of the way. Wanders in to his position. And that's going to change again for Caitlin Tapuai. The clock, we have another change of call. Can we have 68 kilos on the bar? Women's 87. There is a slight typo there. It is women's 87 plus kilo uh, category. Now I've gone to 68, which might bring out a new lifter, Marita Helenato. Another South Island based lifter, Marita, is out of plus 64 in Christchurch. There's her coach, Nicole Stowers, in Komihana. Got a few athletes up this weekend. It's great to see. Some good success on the start of the men. So this is Marita Helenato. Got it back under control. It's a bit of a wild ride, but she got there. <laughs> she's just 
pleased to get that first one in and done. Now, if you're wondering, she has not been attacked by an octopus. Uh, looks like she's had some cupping done to release some tension around those shoulders. What if Paltrow who made that famous? Oh, no idea. <laughs> Who are we going to roll with? Probably. And here's but, Zara. So Sara Yusuf's gone to 68. She's got a lot of support in the crowd here from Pepitoy. Oh, great patience in the bottom there. You just held it, didn't she? Got herself settled and steady. And pushed through for a good lift. Great composure to be able to wait in the bottom. She comes onto those toes, and then she pulls it back onto her heels. Gets stable, powers out. And a bit of relief on the face. Yeah, the eyes don't move, don't they? So many of them, they come and they sit and they find their spot to look up at and they do not waver intent focus on the eyes and caitlin's gone up to 70 kilos we'll probably see her come out here uh sarah also going to 70 kilos cool changes to danica who is uh, overseas lifter uh, she's actually australian so not too far overseas that's right we need a token aussie in the in the house Danica Hampton, so it's sitting on her at the moment. So quick change for the loaders because we're moving from the 60s up to 70 now and there's a handful of lifters sitting around that number. We can't see Danica in the waiting area, so I suspect she will be going up. Uh, we do have Anaya there, so she's ready to come out if called. She's Nation Barbell, Shane Nation. has got a few young lifters here, which is great. Here is Danica Hampton. Uh, this is our overseas guest from Australia. Veteran lifter, 40 years old, and 70 kilos is her first attempt. <laughs> Too far behind her. Lost it over the back. No lift. Start. It looked fairly easy. She just needs to. Straight in that pull up, put it just behind the ears, not behind the head. So this is Manaya Summerall, her first attempt. And these last two women, Manaya and Danica, in the 87 plus category. Good opening there from Manaya. Bit of shake of the head. She wasn't quite happy though. And it looks like we're back to Danica for a second attempt at 70 kilos. The clock starts for her for a minute countdown and she's out and ready to go. Just relax the body a little bit, put a smile on the face. Knew she was close in that first attempt. Got it this time. Almost lost it again. Yeah, just throwing it a wee bit too far behind her head, but it looks like the weight is moving pretty fast. So, interesting to see where she goes from here. She was able to get it under control this time. Absolute focus on the face. And now, Caitlin Tupperwai, her third and final snatch. Her first two have been hugely impressive. Going up in five kilogram increments again, now to 70. Now she shows a little bit of patience. 
She had to work a wee bit harder, but it still looked like a beautiful rep, and she's broken into a smile. She should be happy with that. Three from three in her first nationals as a junior. Can't really ask for much more than that. Gives her a chance to now go back and reset and get ready for the clean and jerk phase as Sarah Yusuf comes out for her third and last effort. And she too is looking at 70 kilograms here. What a rip. Again, it gives us a little dance off the platform too. Again, she stayed down with it and stuck at it. She didn't make it easy on herself, but she worked hard off onto the toes again, but she wasn't going to give up. Got back, almost lost it forward when she stood up, got it under control. And she's also gone three for three. There's a quite literal gritting of the teeth there. Uh, Marita Hilinato. So Sarah is currently leading our junior competition in the women's under 87. She's got 15 kilos over Mabel. No lift this time for Marita Kilinato. Comes up short at 71. Ball does stay on her at the moment. 71. Two minute clock has started for her. Exactly, this warm, very hot conditions and, and sitting, waiting around. And now Marita Pelinato has stopped that clock, which could send Tyler Simeon, functional strength. Looks like she will be making her first attempt, just getting some last minute tips from Zoe Glesson, who competed last night and won the women's 76. 76, yeah, really impressive. Performance from Zoe Glasson yesterday. And it is with Tyler Simeon. Tyler has come to lifting through CrossFit. Quite a common route for many of the lifters. Oh, no mucking around. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> Straight out there. Hands on the bar, up above your head. And a good lift to start for Tyler Simeon, 72 kilos, good lift. Nice confidence start, it's what you like to see. People throwing the bar around, like they're confident in their abilities, they've done the training, bang, great catch. Well, yeah, we've talked about using your time to settle yourself, but sometimes if you give yourself too much, you're sitting there and you start to overthink and look at it too much. So Marita Pilinato. Her third and final attempt, she's gone up one from her last no lift. No lift at 71 and now sitting at 72. A much better attempt, but unfortunately she couldn't hold on to it. Got a score on the board though, with a 68 best attempt at the snatch to go through for the clean and jerk portion to set a total. Just letting that bar dump down on her as she comes into her catch position. And we've got Manaya coming out for her second attempt at 74. The junior competition is heating up with Manaya and Caitlin.
lift from Manaya Summerall. Three white lights from the referees. 74 kilos successful. Now, Manaya does have a bit of an advantage over Caitlin here. She qualified as a junior and a senior coming into nationals. So she was able to achieve that C grade as a senior. Next up, we've got Angel Lee Durham from CrossFit Uncut in Dunedin. So first entry into the competition for Angel Lee Durham, 75 kilograms for her. to hold and push, that got it up. Oh, and, and eventually, the computer from the referees to the monitor made her wait a little bit. Coach and mum out the back, and Chief Barloader, I think, too. Chief everything, if you coach and mum. A good start for Angel Lee Durham. And to work a wee bit in the bottom, just to Get it under control and then she's able to stand it up and get her first good lift on the board. And she looks relieved. We have a chat to decide where to go next. Looking to see the clock being stopped. So it's going back to the 87 kilo class. Remember, we've got two weight classes in action here 87 and 87 plus for these women. And we still have three athletes to enter the competition one in the under 87. We've got Hayley Whiting and two in the over 87 class. So, still a few ladies to see. Tyler Simeon from Functional Strength, which is hosting us here this weekend. Eyes on the team title as well. 76 kilograms for Tyler. Used plenty of platform, but got it under control just when she needed to. Good lift. I think she just rushed through that one a wee bit. Didn't quite finish her extension. Left the bar out in front, then she literally had to chase it. Getting down to the final handful of lift for some and others who we get to see. This will be Manaya Summerall's final attempt. She started at 70 kilograms with her first snatch, went to 74, no problem, and now jumping up to 79. Bar is loaded, the clock is on, and Manaya Summerall to the platform. was able to thankfully get rid of it and have a laugh about it. It got very awkward there for a moment. She was, yeah, in all sorts of trouble, I thought, but she managed to get herself out from under the bar safely, which is always the most important thing. She tried to fight for it, but then got herself out of the way. You could almost hear the crowd wanting to say, drop it. And then the loaders run in to uh, save the equipment. Uh, did well to well, avert... We now have Lauren Bruce, who's uh, coming out onto the platform. She's our, our dark horse from Christchurch, hammer thrower. Hasn't been lifting for very long, but uh, certainly showing some promise. She's got the physique of a, of a thrower, for sure. <laughs> In the crowd. <laughs> and that was a oohs and ahs. Oh, that's a great lift. 
for Lauren Bruce. And here's the first one in on the platform. Now, what I just noticed on the board as well, Danica, our overseas lifter from Australia, has taken a 10 kilo jump and got 80 kilos nominated as her next attempt. So I would say she's got a total that she's trying to achieve, maybe a qualification total for a Masters event. Um, either that or she just thought, hey, 70 was so easy, I'm going to bang 10 kilos on there. Give it a nudge and see what happens, why not? YOLO. Lauren Bruce has so just knocked it straight up to 90. Yeah. Why not? Why go in twos or threes or fours or fives? You can go in tens. Angel Lee Durham has gone up in five Didn't to 80. Counting easy. Left for Angel A. Durham. We have one more tip to try and make that one. 80 kilos will remain on the bar, please, 80 kilos will remain on the bar, and that is for Danica Hampton. But 80 kilos. That are a bit forward. Thank you, Lotus. Miles Lotus. Miles Simeon also sitting 80, but here is Danica Hampton. The first of our 10 kilo jumpers. Let's see how she goes from 70 successful last lift now to 80. Can't get that one. Not no lift. today, unfortunately. <laughs> She'll be able to go out the back, have a drink, have something to eat, try and cool down, and then get ready for her clean and jerk. So 70 kilos successful snatch. The best effort for Danica Hampton to take her through. Now Tyler Simeon is also going to have an attempt at 80. It's looked good so far. Comes out no mess, no fuss, and no messing around. Purposeful. Straight up, straight in. Oh, out over the back. <laughs> it's definitely there. Just needs to tidy up the bar path a wee bit so that it's uh, over her head or on top of her head, not out the back. Well, so far, though, every single lifter has recorded a score. Still it is, got two to come. It is also Tyler's first national, so nerves may have played a part. She'll be happy to get two successful lifts in there. And Angel Lee Durham is going to have a second attempt here at 80 kilograms. This is her third and final lift in the snatch. Almost an action replay from her previous attempt. Though so no lift for Angel Lee Durham. She'll have to be content with 75. And now it looks like we're going to see a new lifter. Coach Tina Ball leading Jess out to the entrance to the platform. Jess Collins, tall athlete. And her first attempt is 82 kilograms. She made that look easy too. Bangs no, the bar around. down. Can we have 83 kilos on the bar, please, loaders? Call remains on Jess Collins. She has two minutes to take this look. She'll probably be moving up. Ball remains with her at the moment. Hayley Whiting has 85 sitting there. And Bruce, 90. Let's see what Jess looks to move to. 84. And Haley's sitting quite a wee way out the back, so I don't know if we'll see her. Oh, she's just getting up now. Maybe she's heading over. Although it looks like we're going to see Lauren before we see Haley. So I wouldn't be surprised if Haley comes out closer to that 90 kilo, 95 kilo mark. is Lauren Bruce, who was successful with her first at 80 and made it look very simple. Literally a power snatch, which is when you don't cross the 
horizontal line at your knee level and go into a full squat. She didn't need to. The call is now on Amy Whitey for her first attempt in the snatch. Amy is on the to come out from the woman's ancient kilo class. The call is on Hayley Whiting, which is at 85, but I expect that may change. Doug Sacconi Fraser standing there with Lauren Bruce, and here comes Ray into the frame now, Hayley's coach. Hayley Whiting, as, as Ray just has a look over at the board and considers the numbers. Makes his mind up. He yeah, bides some more time. Looking at the clock, perhaps, too. Just to 86. The call remains on Hayley Whiting. Just one kilo more. Thank you, She hasn't got up to approach the entry to the platform, so I wouldn't expect her to come out. Ray's just like, sake, I'll come back now. <laughs> So the clock restarts, the 30-second warning. Oh. Now, hang on, Hayley's running. And, she, and she is going to come out at this with very little time on the clock. No time to mess around. I'm not sure if that was the plan. And she nails it with two seconds on the clock. Well, it doesn't matter if it wasn't the plan. <laughs> that is... Real hustle. <laughs> and that is composure and confidence in your setup to know that you can approach the bar, set and go. He was quite literally jogging to the platform with 20 seconds. And that was a great snatch from Hayley under high pressure situation. And she is on the board in the under 87 class. So now we go back to the 87 plus class and this is Jess Collins. She too's not mucking around to the edge of the platform and then you just to step back to find a landing space. You do have to replace the bar back on the platform. As long as your foot doesn't actually touch the area outside of the platform, you can have a shoe overhanging. Um, you can go as far as you need to, but you've just got to get that barbell back under control, back onto the platform for it to be a good lift. No, two good lifts from Jess Collins so far at 82 and 86. Real battle. Caller's now on Lauren. She's taken a 10 kilo jump to 90 kilos. Ready to go, Lauren Bruce. They're anticipating yeah. that Jess will go to 90 and push Lauren out. Fully expecting. Just keep an eye for Tina Ball out there. So it's still sitting at 88, the clock for Jess Collins, but expected to change. Tina there to the left. So if there are any other hammer throwers out there who'd like to try weightlifting, come and give it a go. Lauren seems to be doing pretty well. So there goes Tina Ball changing it. What they were expecting clearly because she has put Jess Collins to 90. So Lauren Bruce was ready, waiting, and now we'll get to come out as we just wait for the loaders to change the weights. Lauren is almost chomping at the bit to get on that platform, eyeing it up, putting the loaders under pressure to get to work quickly. They're doing a good job. Ironically, they're from her gym as well. <laughs> Surprised she's telling them to hurry up. So here goes Lauren Bruce for 90. Remember, her first was at 80. 10 kilogram leap. Oh, another good lift. Brings a little dance from the coach in the background. Down into the full snatch this time. A little bit in front as she stood up, but she managed to get it under control, give her enough give herself enough room on the platform to chase it a wee bit. But that's pretty impressive from somebody whose focus hasn't been on weightlifting. And now Jess Collins, eh? she too just charging out, no one messing around, all full of real intent, these women. Jess gets it under control too. 
She almost turns to face her supporters in the crowd. A successful lift for Jess Collins at 90 kilograms. Three greens on the board for her in the snatch. And Lauren Bruce still has one attempt to go. Hayley Whiting in the 87 kilo class has a couple left too. And we're going to be seeing at this stage Hayley next. She is ready this time. Yeah. She's ready and waiting. She's done her cardio for the day coming from the back of the warm-up room. Yeah, we'll not cut it quite so fine next time. It seemed to work for her though. And another change called up to 95. It will still stay with Hayley. That's total that all of the call that Lauren Bruce had earlier made. We do have a New Zealand snatch record at 99. It is the standard. It hasn't been met yet, so hopefully we'll see Hayley attempt that. at 95 kilograms has to be the attempt. Come on. Ah! Oh, that was yeah. close. Oh, yeah, she, she knew, knew it. <laughs> Maybe she needs to run from the back of the yeah. warm-up room again. Too much time to think about that one. So that's all right. I'm sure she'll take it again. So now Lauren Bruce for 95. Give herself a little advantage. The second phase, 95. Two exceptional lifts so far. Can't get this one under control, though. Not quite there for her, but a good start for Lauren Bruce to this competition. And that puts Lauren and Jess on even footing, both with a 90 kilo successful snatch, going into the clean and jerks in the under uh, over 87 class. Now, Lauren's got a listed start weight, a 105 and a clean and jerk to Jess's 90, but with Jess doing a 90 kilo snatch, it'd, it'd be very unusual to see her clean and jerk there. Whiting looking for her second attempt, her third in the snatch overall, 95. Same again, she won't be happy there. It looks pretty easy, just not quite there today for Hayley, but I'm sure she'll come out firing in the clean and jerk. Either way, she is still 10 kilos ahead of the next competitor in the women's under 87 class. So that wraps up the first portion, the snatch competition done for the women's 87 and women's 87 plus kilo classes. They are now will start to prepare for the clean and jerk. They've got 10 minutes until the first athlete will come out back onto the platform in the penultimate session here at the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champs. At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out, simple is in. With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower, what the world does, we undo.
We are just under 28 minutes to start the clean the jerks here in session two. If we get everyone back to their stations, the referees are back. Just uh, looking for uh, loaders. We can buy a loader to 75 kilos. The loaders are not right anywhere. Taking a uh, measuring break. But we need to go back now. Two minutes to go until the start of the clean and jerk in the penultimate session here at the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champ, the women's 87 and 87 plus categories. I'm Ricky Swanell and the Amanda Gould as we gear up. We've seen some impressive lifting from these women and we certainly have. We've got a number of sort of mini competitions happening within each of the competitions. Not only do we have two weight classes being contested here, the women's under 87 and the over 87. Uh, we've also got junior and senior. So in the junior competition on the under 87, we've got Sara Youssef from Papatoitoi against the younger lifter from Mabel Davis. So looking at the scoreboard, Sara does have quite a few kilos on her in the snatch. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a, it's a decided outcome because you've still got to get a successful clean and jerk to record a total. You've still got to put it out there on the platform at this moment. Mabel Davies, 75, the youngest of the competitors. It's a little bit closer in the over 87 junior competition. We've got Manaya and Caitlin, only separated by four kilos. Both have 80 kilos listed as their starting weight on the clean and jerk. So I suspect we will see that go up a wee bit before they come out onto the platform. Seconds now. And then in the senior competition for the over 87, it's even closer with both Lauren and Jess having a successful snatch at 90 kilos. So it will come down to a bit of strategy in the clean and jerk to see who All is right, going to take the gold medal in the senior competition. Nine, eight, Counting down seven, for the start six, of five, the clean four, and jerk. Three, two, and one, Mabel Davies eight, on her five, feet. Three, the three, minute clock three, is on her. She is ready to go. Crowd getting amped up here at Functional Strength HQ. The 75 kilograms will be Mabel Davies' first attempt at clean and jerk. Having a look at the clock, she's got plenty of time to get onto the platform, seat herself. Nice. Easy clean to start and then finished it off with the jerk and a good lift at 75. Overall, that was a really tidy lift from Mabel. Beautiful timing in her clean, popping under, no problems getting up out of the bottom of that squat. Sets herself in a nice dynamic jerk with a strong lockout. This brings Sarah Yusuf to the platform. These are the two paddling for the junior title. For Sarah Youssef. So all Sarah has to do to lock in that gold medal is basically just follow Mabel because she's got such a lead on her snatch. So Mabel's going to move up slightly to 78. It's likely that we'll see Sarah match her. Although to be fair, I think Mabel had the easier looking clean and jerk. 
Here it is. So we have 77 kilos on the bar now, please go. This will see Marita Pilinato. Marita Pilinato is Sarah Yusuf and Abel Davies have gone to 78. So Marita Pilinato in the 87 category with 77 on the bar. A smile, a nod, and three white lights. And she looks pumped with that. And with that successful lift, she has locked herself in for a medal. We don't know what colour, because there's still two lifters to come out in the 87 category, but she has a total on the board. And at worst, she'll receive a bronze medal, which is pretty cool in your first nationals. Gets that total on the board with a good clean and jerk at 77 and confidently moves it up to 81. So we just see a little bit of the jostling now as coaches figure out what to put their athletes onto the platform. We're getting up over 80. And here we see the strategy now with Manai and Caitlin. Looks like it's going to be Caitlin coming out on 80 kilos. All three snatches of Caitlin's were super tidy. There it is, Caitlin Tapuai. Long has started and 80 kilograms for her. Focus. She comes out all business here at the back and then just lets it drop a little after that when she gets back out there. But nice precise routine and got two white lights, a majority decision, a little bit of a struggle. We've got it in the end. A little bit a little bit shaky in that elbow, which will be what Richie Wong picked up. However, the other two. We're happy with the elbow, so two white lights to one means that it's a good lift and she has a total on the board in her first nationals. Mabel Davies again. She's gone from 75 with her first successful clean and jerk to now 80. She had to work a wee bit harder in that clean, but she, able, she was able to grind her way up, reset, strong dip drive, and a strong lockout. It's a good lift in the end. So the upper hut crew going well. Mabel Davies, Caitlin Tapuai so far, and now Sara Yusuf again. Stringing some really good sequence of lifts together. Better clean there. Yeah. And a beautiful jerk. No doubt about it. Good lift. And she's happy with that one. I'd like to see Simon dance a bit. <laughs> For our, our entertainment, Sarah Yusuf. Much better clean. Thank you, ladies. And then super strong overhead with that jerk. She's got 150 kilo total. She only needs three more kilos to hit a C grade in the under 87 class. 
Marita Pilinato, 81, is her going to be her second attempt at Clean and Jerk. She was successful first out at 77. Given the bell by the judges, no lift for Marita. Now, we might see a replay, but I think she might have had an elbow touch there, which is why she got red-lighted before she stood up out of the clean. Sorry, the court changes to Caitlin Tapawai. This will be her second attempt. moving up, 81. Here we go. You definitely don't want to do that. That's El elbows to knees. Yeah. It, it will give you a red light, but you can also get really sore wrists when you do that. So it's generally advised to try and get the elbows through nice and quick, get the bar into that rack position and avoid the knees. So all our lifters who've come out so far and clean and jerk have made their first attempts. They've all got a total on the board, although we a few that we had to see. We've only had four actually come out. And it's going to be thrown back to Marita Pilinato, but she too's gone to 83, so Pilinato, Mabel Davies and Sari Yusuf all sitting there on 83. The clock will go on to Mabel Davis. All in our under 87 kilo women's class. Two juniors, one senior. Two of them, it is their first nationals. Mabel goes up to 85. The clock is on. And then the clock's on Sarah. Coach Simon is standing there, so they're going to send Sarah out to look for a clean sweep. 83 kilograms of the clean and jerk. So if she's successful with this, she'll have a 153 kilo total, which gives her a C grading, which will mean she is eligible, eligible for selection for Oceania. Good push, great push, Sari Yusuf, excellent effort. Really happy with that one. Great job by the 18 year old. Six good lifts in her competition and finishes with a total of 153. Bang on that C grading. Best snatch 83, best, oh sorry, excuse me, best snatch 70, best clean and jerk 83. And knew pretty early on that she had that under control. And here comes Marita for her third and final lift in her first nationals. Stuck there, has to push the bar away. Can't complete her third attempt at the clean and jerk, but she too has a total. She's got to score 145. And that will be good enough for at least third in the senior competition of the women's under 87 kilo class. The youngsters, Caitlin Tapuai and Mabel Davies standing by, but instead we're going to see Tyler Simeon, 85. She's in the 87 kilo class. And a power jerk. She don't need no split. Well, powerfully done. I hate to see when she's in an actual rush. She does everything with purpose. <laughs> yeah. Certainly no wasted time. Now Caitlin Tapuwa, she's been sitting waiting for a wee while. The clock's only just started, but she's ready to get out there. She's been having to bide her time since her first successful clean and jerk. Looking at 85 kilos. And another good clean and jerk there from Caitlin. She's five out of six. Let's so we can see her go six for six. The call is now on Mabel Davies. This will be her final attempt at the 
Yeah, this is next going to be Mabel Davies, who's Caitlin's upper hut teammate. Good patience, just getting her legs together after her completed, or to complete her jerk. She didn't rush it, she made sure she was balanced and then took little steps in to make sure she didn't lose it. Wasn't there for it. No lift for Mabel Davies at 85 kilograms, but she will finish with a 135 total second place in the junior 87 women's under 87 kilo category. And she looks pretty happy with her day. Sammy Hansen competed in the women's under 71 kilo class. Promising young lifter. Awarded one of the sponsor scholarships here today. Yes, a big thanks to Raise Lower for supporting our next generation of lifters with a $500 scholarship. Still have the males one to be awarded. Plenty of great options out there. Loretta Pelinato has actually finished the athlete having a lie down. She's finished her competition. Chilling out and having a think about what she's achieved at her first nationals. And now Manaya Summerall, 87 kilograms for her. Good lift from Manaya. A great start to her clean and jerk portion of the competition. She has extended her lead over our other junior in the women's over 87 kilo class and currently has a six kilo advantage on Caitlin. Uh, Danica Hampton, who is our overseas guest from Australia, who was successful in the snatch with 70 kilos and come out to clean and jerk at her first go with 90 kilograms ahead of her. Thank you, ladies. Five minutes later, the clock is on for Danica Hampton. I came out with great confidence. But oh, no, unfortunately, look. a late lockout on one of her elbows, which the judges picked up. Tiny movement. She might have had it initially, but no lift for Seneca Hampton. And we did see in her in the snatch part of the competition, she did have a no lift in her first effort, came out and really nailed it second time round. So we've gone back to Tyler. Call is on her at 90 kilos. First attempt looks pretty strong. Beautiful clean with a nice strong power jerk. Not only have I had to deal with the smell of pies wafting, tantalizing all weekend, now the sign's just sitting there, the love of pie sponsor's sign, <laughs> calling my name. And confirm, pies are delicious. <laughs> well, lifters, once they finish, they can put an order in, grab a pie, and they have been well received. And Paul has gone back to Danica. She's come back out for 90 kilos. Looked pretty easy, just need a stronger lockout in that jerk.
taken away. Has she got it this time? Yes, she has. And she's got a total. She's on the board. 160 kilos, 70 in the snatch, 90 in the clean and jerk. One final lift to come for our overseas lifter, Danica. This is the over 87 class for these women. We still have four lifters to come out onto the platform. One in the women's under 87 class and three in the over 87. Right, Manaya Summerhall, Summerhall rather, 91. Her second effort in the clean and jerk rolls the bar back, gives herself a bit of room to move. She makes pretty easy work of that one. She generates some real power coming out of her squat. She almost throws the bar through the roof. Unfortunately, you do have to come to a stop or the, your body needs to stop moving before you start your jerk. Otherwise, she could just do a thruster. So now Tyler Simeon, as we see the replay, they of an eye Summerall, strong. Locked arms, locked elbows. Now Tyler Simeon, 92. Functional strength based here at this gym. And it's hosting the Tower Insurance Olympic weightlifting champs this weekend. And she breathes a sigh of relief as that doesn't touch her on the way down. Yeah, going to take evasive action. But no lift for Tyler Simeon at 92. Looks like Caitlin Tupperway is ready to come next. Also 92. Tupperway, Summerall and Hampton all sitting on 92 kilograms as well. And it is going to be Caitlin Tupperway in her final lift in the clean and jerk. She's put five good lifts on the board so far. The 16-year-old in her first national champs. This will be the biggest jump she's taken all day, seven kilos. Not quite there for her. But good still a, yeah, great sequence of lifts from the youngster. And I don't think that's far away. So Caitlin Tupperway will finish with 155 for her total. And a second place in the junior section of the competition of the women's over 87 kilo. Bar's loaded for Tyler Simeon. Lincoln, you'll miss Tyler. She yeah. almost runs to the platform. A much better attempt. She doesn't look sure. And she must have felt it as well. Unfortunately, couldn't get that elbow locked out cleanly. And the refs have pulled her. Oh, it was so close, though. Looked across, yet yeah, was uncertain herself. So Tyler Simeon finishes 161 for her total. All bar one in the 87 kilo under 87 kilo class. Hayley Whiting still to come, and now we switch back to the 87 plus, and we see for the first time in the clean and jerk, Jess Collins with 93 on the barbell. clean from Jess. Richie picked up the soft elbow in a jerk, but the other two, all good by them.
So she is on the board. She has a total. And she is underway. The centre referee is the one who has the best view, tends to pick up the little extras. Absolutely. And in this case, it's also the harshest ref. <laughs> Can we keep 94 on the bar? So 94 Four staying on the bar for Manai Summerall. This will be her final attempt. Good position here, the junior title. In fact, she's going up again to Thank you, Lotus. Bar is loaded. No, the bar's loaded and the clock is on Jess Collins under a minute now at 95. There's Jess standing there. The shot looks like she's ready to go. Can't see a coach, Tina. Just she may be, whether she looks to bump it up again slightly, throw it back onto somebody else. And now we do see the cursor hover and the change. For 96 to Jess Collins and now Danica Hampton. And she's ready to go. Her final lift, the Australian visitor. 95 for Danica Hampton. Holds it, trying to get it under control and gets the majority from the referees and a good lift. She actually, she didn't look sure herself. I think she could feel that late elbow. But in that situation, you really just want to celebrate as hard as you can and try and convince them that you've got the lift. Because it is hard to pick up and it is often and only the centre referee can see those tiny, tiny elbows. But uh, if I was here, I'd be celebrating like it was the best lift of my life. 165 the total for Danica Hampton coming over from Aussie to compete here at the New Zealand National Champs. So just a handful of competitors to come. Jess Collins coming back out now. 97 kilogram clean and, clean and jerk in front of her. She made pretty easy work in the last one. through the clean gets the feet set under control and no lift oh frown across the face she's certainly not struggling with that clean so just being held back a wee bit by the jerk just struggling to get those elbows locked out cleanly attempt at a new zealand youth record here for manaya summerall youth 17 and under 97 kilos. She certainly has looked pretty good leading into it. On the front of the shoulders, not today. A valiant effort, though. Yeah, really good attempt from Manaya, who will take the junior title in the over 87 kilo women's 165 her score. 10 kilos clear of second with 155, which goes to Caitlin from Upper Hutt Weightlifting. Now starting to nudge towards. 100, getting there. 98 for Angel Lee Durham is what is on the board at the moment as we just stop the clock momentarily to have a sweep of the platform. The uh, under 87 class is essentially all done except for our final lifter, Haley, who is coming out onto the platform by the looks of it around the 103 mark. And then we've still got two lifters in the over 87 to make their appearance too. So the competition is... Hearing, nearing the end. 
as Jess comes in for a third and final lift at 98 kilos. Another no lift for Jess. Comes off the platform, disappointed in the finish. Finishing 183. Her cleans look so strong. She makes absolute light work of those. Just needs to work on that lockout in the jerk and she'll have an extra 10 kilos on her on her total in no time. And Hayley Whiting is going to be up next, 103. Put a score on the board. She will he looks calm and ready, focused. So he looks on the two of the those two ladies in Japan recently. Driving through. Good job, good professional display for Hayley White and gets that score on the board, and that will secure her the 87 kilo title with a couple of attempts up his sleeve. And now that you've got the, the title locked away, you've got a total on the board, you can have a wee bit of fun. So it'll be interesting to see where Ray puts her for the next couple of lifts. And now Angel Lee Durham, 103 is her opening attempt at the clean and jerk. Majority decision for the judges, referees. Just going back to Haley with her 189 total that she's locked in, she has secured A grade, uh, which is the level below international grade. So she'll be stoked with that. And now we'll see if she has a little bit of fun, maybe attempt some PBs. Either way, she's looking very relaxed out the back. Oh, is this lady Lauren Bruce? Is Hayley Whiting? I'm going to have a look out into the stands and see who she can spot. Lauren Bruce has got 105 locked in, and she's looking expectant for oh, yeah, her competitors to change. And so Lauren Bruce at, at this stage looking ready to be the next out, lurking in the wings, ready to go. If you need a rock and roll, yeah. Isn't she? Only new, like when I say new to weightlifting, incredibly new to weightlifting. Olympic weightlifting, it is. She's probably been using it in her hammer throwing training. A fourth place at the Oceania Games. 105 is the attempt. No sign of bother. And yes, that was a power clean at a 105 kilos. And she's happy. So she is only three kilos away from an A grading in the women's over 87 kilo class. And at 90.1 kilos, you know, she's a real prospect for cutting to the under 87 class. So Hayley Whiting, who has got the under 87 kilo title wrapped up with her first attempt at the clean and jerk. She's already on a 189 total, and so now chat to her coach, Ray Bruce, to have a look at 109 as her going to be an next attempt.
yourself in a flat. And she's so good that one. Now we go to 110 kilos for Angel Lee. She's taken a seven kilo jump. So she's obviously feeling confident after her first attempt. Want to throw a few more kilos. I don't think she's able to catch uh, Lauren, who has an almost 20 kilo advantage currently. However, she might have Jess Collins in her sights. As Jess only sits five kilos in front of her, so this 110 would push her into second place in the senior section of the women's 87 plus category in the 2019 National Champs. Mum gives her a pat on the back, a slap on the back as Angel Lee Durham takes to the platform, looking at 110. through the clean and gets it on the jerk, a good lift. She had to work hard in that jerk to get it back under control, wandered over to the edge of the platform, but was able to get it under control. Good lift. And she has overtaken Jess Collins for the second place position in the women's over 87 category. And that will be the podium with still a couple of lifts to go. Hayley Whiting has still got one in the under 87 and we've got a couple to come in the over 87. It's going to be Hayley Whiting with 114. A big lift ahead for Hayley Whiting, 114 kilos in the third and final clean and jerk. And this would give her a 200 kilo total, which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, she had to work a little bit too hard in that clean. Used up the energy and didn't have enough left in the tank to get big legs and a big drive for a jerk. You tried to, you had to squeeze everything out of yourself there. That's still a 114 clean, which is awesome. And she finishes on 195 kilos and first place in the women's under 87 kilo class. Well, considering she came out and showed her intent with her very first snatch when the clock was down to two seconds when she lifted that bar. So now we go back to the final couple of lifts remaining in the over 87 kilo women. And Lauren Bruce, who has been super impressive, a newcomer to the sport, but obviously a great athlete. I would just like to take this time to point out that my two picks were correct. Yes, you have done that. Yep, you put put it on the line. Amanda Gould, I must say also, first of the uh, expert co-comments that have come over with notes prepared in front. What put can the I say? Put the other boys on notice. Take my job seriously. So here's Lauren Bruce, 115. She's got the 87 plus title in the bag regardless. That is unreal. Really good quality lifting from Lauren Bruce. 115. That's probably been her toughest so far, but worked it. She's a little bit raw around the edges, but man, she has some talent and some strength. That is pretty awesome to see. And I, for one, am excited to see what she can do in the sport. 
Right, He's only 22 years of age, Lauren Bruce, as well. So, Lindsay ahead of her angel. In Durham now looking to finish off 115. Not there for Sometimes when you pick it up, you just know. You just know that not today. <laughs> and that looked to be the case of that last attempt, but she's put a good performance together in the clean and jerk, finding back after missing a couple in the snatch. So Angel Lee Durham will take second place in the over 87 class. She's managed to sneak in and snaffle that silver medal of Jess Collins. Yeah, just by two kilograms, 185 to Jess Collins, 183. Now Lauren Bruce is going to finish it off, 120. Will be her third and final attempt. Do we think she's still power clean? Will we see her do a full squat clean, or is she just going to power clean 120 stick, stick kilos? With what's worked. She might need to get a wee bit lower if she wants to get a clean rack. Well, I guess too. She is being so new. She's testing. She doesn't really know what she's capable of yet. No, nor does the coaching team. So send her out yeah, and the best. Yeah, have a nudge and see what happens at 120 kilos. It's been good so far for Lauren Bruce. Third and final attempt. Not quite there uh, at the end, but what a wonderful performance regardless. That was an awesome attempt, though. With a few more months, let's, let's remember, she's only had a, a focus on weightlifting for a couple of months, so maybe with a few more months in the Christchurch City Weightlifting Club and she can develop her technique a little bit more, who knows what we'll see from her. Lauren Bruce takes out the over 87 women's kilogram class. 205 is her total. Angel Lee Durham second and Jess Collins third. And in the under 87 kilo class, Hayley Whiting, the winner there from Tyler Simeon and Marita Pelinato and the junior competitors too. Sari Youssef and Mabel Davies one and two. So the penultimate session of the 2019 Tower Insurance National Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand Championships comes to an end. Still one more session to come. You won't want to miss us. Join us back at 2.30 as we look at how the big guys roll. The 102, 109 and the 109 plus kilogram classes still to come this afternoon. Big, bigger and even bigger. At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out. Simple, isn't it? With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower. What the world does, we undo. I respond really well to challenges like when I'm lifting, I am confident in myself that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Like, no doubt about it. I just need to work hard, and I know that I do. This Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand event is proudly brought to you by Tower Insurance. <laughs>